Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Technoholic. In this video, I will show you exactly how to enable Microsoft Copilot in PowerPoint step by step without wasting your time. Okay, so first thing here we need to do is, of course, we need to open PowerPoint. And as you can see here, I already have done it. If you can see Copilot icon here on the top right corner, congrats, you are already Copilot ready. All you need to do is you need to hit Copilot to get started. But if you do not see like me, then don't worry, I will show you how to fix it. But first of all, let me also talk about the prerequisite. Copilot only work with Microsoft 365, not the offline variant like 2019, 2016, 2021 or 2024. So make sure you are signed in with the right Microsoft 365 account or education account. So that is the prerequisite. So now let's verify that why there is no Copilot icon here. I'm going to click here on file and then option. Then you need to go to privacy settings and then here you need to make sure that this particular option which is turn on optional connected experience is turned on. If this is turned off, this will not let Copilot and other connected experience work properly in your system. So make sure that this is turned on. Now let me again click OK. And now let's go to second step which is again we need to go to file account and then click on Microsoft Office 365 and Office Update and Update Now. So what this will do is this will update your Microsoft Office to latest version. And here you can see there are certain updates that are getting downloaded. So this sometime can be the reason why we do not see Copilot option. So let's wait for the download and update to get completed. And finally here we can see uh, we have successfully downloaded. So let's click here on continue such that the office can be updated. Okay, so finally here we can see we have successfully installed all the updates and now our version is up to date. But still I do not see Microsoft Copilot option here. So probably I need to restart Microsoft PowerPoint. And now again I'm going to click on blank presentation and still I do not see it. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to go here and file account and then I'm going to click on update license. And then I'm going to again sign in to my office ID. And now let me again re-enter my credential. And now it is asking me to restart. So let me click on close. And let's again restart our PowerPoint. So finally here we can see we have successfully enabled Copilot in our PowerPoint presentation. So let's wrap up this video where we talk about how we can enable Microsoft Copilot inside PowerPoint presentation. If you have got any questions or feedback in your mind, please feel free to ask them in comment down below. I will definitely try to respond to them as soon as possible. Also, make sure to subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to office productivity. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.